The Cougars are on the court. Deep three for TJ. Good! Oh, TJ Haas! BYU Basketball is presented by America First Credit Union, helping you achieve financial health. Les Olson Company, your office technology partner. Smith's, low prices, market fresh at Smith's. Sponsored by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 800-STATE-FARM. And by Deseret First Credit Union, serving the LDS community. It's time to play BYU basketball. Skip to Yo. Yo drives to the oh, rim. Oh, man alive! On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Time to meet tonight's starting lineups, courtesy of America First, Utah's top credit union for the visiting USF Dons, 20-6 and six on the year, 8-4 and four in league. They'll go with Ferrari at the point, Midland at the 2, Retino at the 3, Renfro at the 4, and Jimbo Lull at the 5 for Coach Kyle Smith in his third season on the Hilltop. BYU's starting five introduced now by Mark Durant. Backcourt for the Cougars, number 30, T.J. Haas, number 24, McKay Cannon, and number 4, Nick Emery. Four-man is number 23, Yoli Childs, the Bingham High product. And at the five spot, the big fellow, the man in the middle, number 25, Gavin Baxter out of Timview High School. It's your starting five for the 18 and 10 Cougars, 10 and 3 in conference, 12 and 2 here at the Marriott Center, coached by Dave Rose. Officials for tonight's game, the umpires are Bob Staffen and Larry Spaulding. The referees, Mr. Rick O'Neill. BYU in the home whites with dark blue and USF going in the road golds with green tonight. Dons and Cougars, crucial conference clash when it comes to who's going to be the two seed in Las Vegas. If USF wants any hope of it, they pretty much have to win tonight, get the season sweep over BYU and win all those tiebreakers. If BYU win tonight, they'll be one step closer to second place in the West Coast Conference. Not quite solidified, but uh, very close to it. If they can get one here tonight, get the season split with the visitors from San Francisco. And San Francisco, they know all that. BYU better be ready to go because this is the best San Francisco team they've had in 30 years. They want to get this one. They want that second place. It's going to be a battle tonight. Okay, crowd. Not a big crowd. Not a huge crowd here at the Marriott Center tonight. And the rock section is uh, not quite to concourse level. So we'll see how things progress here as the first half moves along. More seats may get filled in. Opening tip. Slapped by Renfro, but to Nick Emery in BYU's front court. BYU will go from right to left as we see it and you hear it. Nick knows just where to stand because most tips go against BYU, but Nick finds a way to get him. Nick, three-point line, drives it from there, gets into the paint, hangs, doesn't hit. Double clutched it and then just squeezed it off too hard once he got to the rim. A pretty good move. I think he might have thought Lowell was going to come and try and block that, so he rushed it. Renfro, free throw line, low to Lull. Sees a double, almost a triple. Retino's open for three. It's in and out. Rebound to Yoli Childs. Jordan Retino, two games ago, went seven for nine from three against Pep. TJ Haas on the wing right side. Over the shoulder to Yo. Yo from three. Pulls and strong on it. Retino the rebound. Down floor, Ferrari. BYU opens up 0 for 2 from the field. A pick and roll to Lull. Open is Midland from the right wing. He'll drive it, kick it in the corner. Retino's oh, 3 is blocked by Yoli Childs out of bounds. Yoli diving into Retino and swatting it into the spectators. <laughs> the fan shoots the 3, misses, but uh, that kind of reminded me of Zion flying through the air there. Yoli had to cover a lot of space on Retino and able to get there and swat it. Flying Zion blew a shoe last night. The... Uh, Flat tire heard around the world last yeah. evening in college basketball. We're almost a minute gone here at the Marriott Center. 0-0. USF basketball, the 19-second shot clock. They're into Ferrari, and Frankie runs it out near the timeline. Frankie with the right-hand bounce goes to his left, runs Cannon over the Jimbo Lull screen. Lull rolls low as the pass goes to Midland, right corner for three, and that's no good. Rebound. Lull tapped it and slapped it to Ferrari at the timeline. USF on the offensive rebound retains possession. Midland straight away. Renfro. It's around the horn and cycled on the wing left to Retino. Now Renfro will drive it to the painted area. Stop at 10 feet. Out to Midland. Midland penetrate. Kick Renfro for three wide right, and that's good. Nate Renfro. Opens the scoring for San Francisco. Threes up. Yeah, all threes. They finally hit one. They're bound to and getting open looks. And offensive rebounds. That rebound and killed BYU on the hilltop, Greg. Emery, right wing, top side to TJ. TJ, one hand whip, low to Baxter. Baxter around low. Pump fake, hands low to Yo. Yo right there and got it to go off the back rim. Little jump hook for Yoli Childs and BYU's on the board. BYU down 3-2. Two, two minutes gone here at the Marriott Center. Gavin Baxter makes such good decisions. Never forces it. Smart 
play to just dish it off to Yoli down low. Minland on the bump to the right junction. Jumps it from there. Tough shot. Strong on it. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Renfro who clacked collided with Nick Emery. Emery was unsuspecting and got run over. No fouls called, but Renfro just ran up Emery's back as Emery waited for the rebound. Renfro crashed hard for it and crashed right into Nick and knocked him over. BYU players kind of standing around thinking the rebound is going to fall to them, and Renfro comes tearing in. BYU lucky not to have uh, that go as another offensive rebound. Two minutes, five seconds gone here in the first half. BYU's down 3-2. TJ, far sideline to the free throw line. In the corner to Nick. Missed the three long. So neither of BYU's two three-point shots have been particularly close to hitting. BYU's 0 for 2 from deep. BYU's down 3-2. Ferrari to the left wing, to the top of the key, to the right junction. Still on the bounce now. Terminate straight away. Renfro won't take that three. Low to low. Low sees a double. Renfro open for three. Won't take that. Left wing. Midland, left block to Lowe. Lowe spins and hooks Baxter. Baxter recovers and blocks him out of bounds. Nine-second shot clock for San Francisco. Dons lead 3-2. Two Two minutes and 40 seconds in. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Ferrari into Renfro. Back to Frankie. Frankie fakes. Gives to Nate. Back to Frankie. 20-footer. Back iron. Rebound. USF. Lowe, another offensive reset. Ferrari up top. Left wing Midland. Minland across the free throw lane to Renfro. Renfro between the rings to Ferrari. Ferrari, Renfro on the pick and pop, driving his Renfro, banking, missing, rebound. Baxter lost it to Law. Law goes back foul. up with it. It's a foul on USF. So that's how the offensive rebound was gained by virtue of a foul over the back of Jimbo by Jimbo Law. So Law picks it up. That's the Don's first and first of this game with 16:58 to go till halftime. And BYU just the two points right now on one of four from the floor. Now they're getting the misses and. Uh, sometimes getting the rebounds. Good job that time by Gavin to contest the shot and then get good enough position to force the foul on Lowell going over the back. Kyle Smith going early to his bench. Lowell takes a seat. Matt McCarthy checks in. So seven foot checks out. 6'9". Matt McCarthy checks in. The senior from Melbourne. Third in games played all time at USF. Renfro is second. And Renfro is guarding Childs at the high elbow. Right side. Haas right wing to Yo on the right block. Bangs into Renfro, gets around him to the middle, up and good, but foul on the floor. Would have left that, like to see that keep going, but they're going to call Renfro for hip-checking Yoli Childs on his move to the middle, and Yo scored on it, but wave off the basket. So 16.46 to go till halftime. Renfro has one, Lowell has one, the Dons have two, BYU without a team foul. And the Cougars side it, send it in on the baseline with T.J. Haas. TJ looks beneath the basket, knocked out of uh, bounds as he intended to go to Baxter. And McCarthy recovered, swatted it away from Gav. So TJ will do it again on the sideline, or the baseline, beg your pardon, to the right of the basket. 3-2, USF leading BYU very early here in Provo. The lob to Gav, right corner, right wing to Yo. Yo, straight away TJ. TJ gets a screen from Childs, rolls around it, drives hard to the baseline, terminates on the right base, sends out to Childs, and it's pass, picked off by Renfro. Renfro jumped up, collected it, sent it down floor to Minland. Minland to the trailer, Frankie Ferrari. Frankie drives hard to the base right, pulls it out with 16.25 to go till halftime. Turnover for BYU, and Don's possessed the other way. Renfro, three-point range left. Up high to Minland. Minland, dribble handoff. Rotino. Rotino, hesitation to the bump. Over the shoulder pass, deflected, but finds Minland. Minland in from 20 feet, shoots and misses. Slap and a bring down by McKay Cannon. McKay gets a touch in front court. McKay gets around Rotino, stops at the right elbow, goes left block to Gavin. Baxter, a drive and dunk for Gavin. The assist from Cannon and Baxter with the finish via flush. As BYU now makes Taya, takes a 4 3 lead. Ferrari left corner, Rotino for three, and USF sees it banging it out. Yoli couldn't squeeze the rebound, tapped it out of bounds. USF basketball next. 15.46 to play in the first half. BYU 4, San Francisco 3 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. All right, BYU leading San Francisco 4-3. to three. Right before the break, we had McKay Cannon low to Gavin Baxter for a drive and a dunk. We'll call that our UCCU Smart Decision, brought to you by Utah Community Credit Union, helping people make smart financial decisions every day, lock in a low fixed rate on a home equity line of credit with no closing fees. To learn more, visit uccu.com. Moments before, Mark, it was Gavin Baxter assisting to Yoli Childs, and then Gavin, the recipient and the beneficiary from uh, McKay Cannon. 
And McKay did what just what do you want to go? He, he pressured early offense, got his feet in the paint. If a guard can get his feet in the paint, that just causes all kinds of troubles. Then a seeing eye pass, bounce pass to Adioli in a nice move. So really nice job from McKay. Now just get some rebounds. So five offensive rebounds already for San Francisco. That's more than BYU's total rebounds. Five nothing in offensive rebounds, three nothing in second chance points. And BYU moments ago had a chance to squeeze a defensive rebound, knocked it out of bounds. That's why it's USF ball now. So hopefully no harm done on this particular sequence with 15.46 to play until halftime. Ferrari into Tavi Yurkatam who's checked in. Yurkatam takes it low on the pick and roll to the right block, pulls it out to the short corner right side, guarded by Baxter. Spins on Baxter, pulls it out to the arc to Yurkatam. They cycle it Ferrari to Rotino to the left wing and now the left block to McCarthy. McCarthy to the middle with a jump hook and that is good and that defensive rebound missed turns into points for USF. 5-4, San Francisco takes the lead. McCarthy to the middle with a jump hook and the Dons in front. Nick on the wing left side. Emery double teamed on the perimeter. Has got to give it up. Calls timeout. So BYU takes a 30 with 15-11 to play until halftime. We'll stay right here with it. BYU basketball is brought to you in part by America First Credit Union. Utah's number one credit union. Join us and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details and go Cougars. Yeah, all of San Francisco's points now. Second chance points. and that, that hurt, like I said, hurt them on the hilltop. Now getting dominated on the boards early in this one. Real, everybody, it's not just about Yoli and Gavin either. It's about every guard, everybody crashing the boards. Forget about the fast break. Go get a rebound. That's number one priority. 5 nothing offensive rebounds. 5 nothing second chance points. And BYU trails 5-4. It's 15-11 to play here in the first half. Cougars shooting at 2 of 5 from the field. USF 2 for 11. Already six more shot attempts for the visitors. Hmm. Two for 11 and leading right now. They're just hustling, going after everything. Yoli on the arc left side, straddling the three-point line. Holds it high, lets Cannon clear, dives low on Yurkatam, fades away on him and scores it. Yoli Childs gives BYU the 6-5 to five lead. Yo's got four. Gavin Baxter has the other two, so no guard scoring yet for BYU. Rotino, three-point range right. A deflected pass by Haas, does find Yurkatam. Yurkatam hands back to Rotino. Rotino between the circles, Ferrari. Directs traffic as he moves to the left wing. Pressured on the perimeter left side. Top side, Yurkatam. Right wing, Rotino on the arc. Haas closes out. Rotino takes him to the paint. Lays it up and missed it off the back iron. Rebound. Brought around. Slapped around. Brought down by Yoli Childs. Cougars find that rebound after a little bit of duress. BYU in front court. Now leading at 6-5. to five. Nick on the wing right into Midland. Left wing, Cannon. Cannon. What did they call? Hold. McKay gave it up and then fouled. McKay turned it over and then reached. So BYU another turnover and leading at 6-5, to five, giving the ball back for USF. So two turnovers, no offensive rebounds for BYU. USF, no turnovers and five offensive rebounds, and that's our storyline early. 14-22 to play in the first half. USF surviving for the moment, 2 for 12 shooting. Minland missed the 3 left, uh, left wing, rebound Baxter. Outlet Haas. BYU lead by one and the ball. Zach Selyus pulls and fires and scores from the left wing. Zach just checking in. And his first shot attempt is a three-pointer. Our first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer of the night. For every three BYU makes, Mountain America donates $50 to the American Red Cross. Frankie Ferrari with a driving kick. It ends up from Minlan to Yurkaton. Back to Frankie left wing. Frankie to the free throw line. Frankie still on the bounce. A hard pound. Backs up from 18. Shoots and scores. Frankie Ferrari with his first jumper. And USF pulls within two at 9-7. BYU was up 9-5 on the Celius three. TJ drives hard to the hole. Fouled on his way there. And he'll get two free throws out of it. TJ coming off a 19-for-20 weekend at San Diego. And LMU will go to the free throw line. The foul on Jamari Bouye having checked in. Bouye picks up his first. The Dons have their third. And BYU with a single team foul on that cannon reach a moment ago. TJ now shoots two. And TJ on the year is at 87% from the free throw line. To laugh about Zach's three as the free throw kind of just somehow goes in. Deadens on the back of the iron and the backboard, but it goes. But uh, talking about Zach, the very first touch he had in LMU, he hits a three. Very first touch tonight, he hits a three. Two for two for TJ Haas. BYU by a game-high four once again. 
at 11 to 7. 13 34 to go until halftime. Ferrari in the front court right side. Yurkatam between the circles. Yurkatam to Ferrari on the right corner. Angle right Midland outside the perimeter. Top side Yurkatam. They cycle it left wing to Bouye. Bouye takes a bump from Haas. No call. Midland on the right wing. Midland hands off on the perimeter right to Ferrari. Ferrari penetration stopping at 15. Going to 10, handing off to number 10, Matt McCarthy beneath the basket. Pass out to Ferrari, top of the key, down to a seven-second shot clock. Frankie, step back three, takes it and makes it. Holy Moses. Frankie Ferrari with five. <laughs> deep three time. with the shot clock about to go. Step back, triple, and USF's within one. TJ into a long two. Long two on the right wing. Tough enough to be a three, but he knocks it down. 13 to 10, BYU back up three, but don't let Frankie get going. He's now made two tough jumpers in back-to-back possessions for USF. BYU's lead 3, 13-10. Minland, stripe extended right, enters it, gets it back, drives it, kicks it, high to Bouye, fakes the three, gets past Baxter, gives to Ferrari, Ferrari passing out of that three, dumps it low to Yurkatam. Yurkatam, Minland left corner. Minland will drive it, hang, blocked to McCarthy, reset Bouye, straightaway three for the tie, and he got it, 13-13. Bouye bad. for three. Great block, and it just went right to the right guy, and... Otherwise, he would have been so open, but for the block. Already three threes for USF here in the first eight minutes. 13-13 the score. McKay Cannon right corner. BYU making a lot of good plays, not getting the reward as Yoli's bump before the jump hook with 12.09 to go till halftime. Non-shooting foul. BYU on the baseline coming up. The foul is picked up by Yurkatam. Tavi Yurkatam has one. The Dons have four to just one for BYU. Worthington in for Baxter will have a seat. Mark whether it's getting misses and not getting the rebound or blocking shots and not coming away with the ball. BYU's made a lot of good plays, just not seeing the benefit necessarily in the 13-13 game. Yeah, that shooting number is just 29% for San Francisco, but uh, it's just hitting them at the right time and then getting rebounds when they do miss. It's all second-chance points right now. 8-0 second-chance points, 6-0 offensive rebounds. Yoli, left block, shoots over... Reitinen and not close. Contested jumper with Rima Reitinen right in his face and didn't get it to go. Reitinen, top side. Right wing Bouye. Bouye will drive it, stop at the free throw line. Retino for the lead from three. Yep, another one. Four threes for San Francisco. USF heating up now and BYU's four point lead is gone. They're down three, 16 to 13. Boy, you really helping doubling down from the perimeter on the big man, and that's leaving open shooters. USF has four threes and two twos. Timeout on the floor on a foul. An offensive foul on T.J. Haas. They pushed off. So USF basketball with the lead. Dons are making them deep right now and making BYU pay. 16-13, USF leads it. 11-32 to play in the first half on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jerem Jordan with a scoreboard update. Gonzaga is going for its 27th straight West Coast Conference win, including the tournament last year. So far, so good. 18-11 Zags over Pepperdine in Spokane, 11:40 left in the first half. Back to the Marriott Center with Greg Rubel. Jim, thank you. Some funny, not funny numbers. BYU shooting 56%, USF shooting 33%, and the Dons are leading because of USF's six makes, four are from three. BYU one of three from deep. The Dons four for nine already. 16-13, USF leads it. They've taken nine more shots than BYU already. Wow. Nine more shots on 6 nothing with offensive rebounds and 3 nothing BYU turnovers. USF hasn't given it away once yet. Ferrari in the center oval with a 10-second shot clock to Wrighton and wide open right wing as Rotino missed the three, another offensive rebound. That's number seven. Seven zip, offensive boards. Frankie to the bump. All hustle right now for USF. Three from right and a no. Rebound. They go over the back on Nick Emery. Lowell picks up his second. So Jimbo Lowell's got the Don's fifth uh, to BYU's two in BYU basketball. Lowell's going to have a seat up for just having checked back in. So McCarthy in for Lowell. Kalsman says, hey, what can you do? The seven-footer goes to the bench with two fouls. That's a big play. I mean, talking about everyone rebounding. Nick Emery was boxing out Jimbo Lowell and, and forced him to go over the back. That's a big play by Nick. T.J. Haas, front court right side. BYU down three. Cougars are led by four twice here in the first half. Cougars bouncing out front with Nick Emery. 
Right wing TJ lets a man fly by, and then Bouye got him on the arm as he came back. So TJ shooting a three, fouled by Bouye, and can tie the game from the free throw line. So Bouye picks up his second. Now the Dons already have six team fouls, Mark, so with 10.43 to play in the first half, BYU may get to the bonus sooner than later here as uh, TJ goes to the strike for three with his team down three. We'll tell you that BYU basketball is brought to you in part by Edge. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you will sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at Edge D2D or visit us online at EdgeD2D.com. TJ Haas has made free throw number one and free throw number two. On foul number two for Jamari Bouye, he'll check out, and Midland is back in. Here comes a third for the reigning WCC Player of the Week, TJ Haas, just to tie the game at 16. Got it. So three for three for TJ. Haas is already five for five from the strike tonight. Seven points to lead BYU, and we're tied up at 16. Bertino takes a weave handoff up high. The cutter is Ferrari. Missed the driving lay-in. Rebound to Luke Worthington. Frankie got right to the tin. Couldn't finish. BYU on the board that time. TJ drives past Rotino. Takes a bump. Gets right to the hole. Banked on his way. And no, he's not going to get the shot to go. But he will get fouled by Rotino and take more free throws. Jordan Rotino has his first. And so BYU's already in the bonus. Seven team fouls against San Francisco. And there goes TJ. Yeah, very Back aggressive. to the line. I like when you're going downhill. Just keep going until they stop you. And uh, TJ had him in his back pocket, makes the first free throw, kept forcing the issue. It's hard to stop a guy, turn a guy, when he's going full speed in transition. Just keep going to the hoop. USF hasn't taken a free throw yet. And TJ Haas has taken all seven for BYU, a miss there. So one for two on that trip, six for seven on the night. BYU, a four or nothing spurt to lead 17 to 16. Frankie Ferrari, top of the key to Remo Reitman. Reitman dives low, gets right to the rim, layup good for Reitman. He's got his first two points. Did not score in six minutes played against BYU on the hilltop. USF back in front, 18 to 17. TJ drives, kicks in the corner. Nick, touch pass, Zach for three. He got it again. <laughs> Zach Selyus has made his last six wow. three-point attempts and marked Ross Center cut lately. And, and Nick knew that. He had a shot, but he said, I'm going to give it to Zach. He's on fire. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. The Cougars lead at 20 to 18. This to retake the lead for USF. And, yep, Remo Reitman for three. USF with its fifth three. And the Dons back in front, 21-20. BYU seems overly concerned within the paint. And uh, they're not getting out on shooters and collapsing on the penetration. Got to stay out on, on shooters. Don't worry so much about shots inside. USF has three twos and five threes already, and they're back in front. BYU shooting 60% and losing the game right now. 21-20 with 9.15 to play in the first half. Yoli on a post-up. Jump hook with the right hand is good. BYU back in front, 22-21. How can they get a couple stops here? We use the phrase kill. A kill is three consecutive misses. And not so much the misses, but the rebounds for BYU, in addition to the threes that USF's knocking down. BYU in front, 22-21. Rotino over the shoulder to Reitman. Reitman's opened up strong. Frankie on the arc left side. Nick on a closeout. Frankie takes a bump from Emery. No call. Seven-second shot clock. Frankie drives it down the left side of the lane. Hands out to Rotino. Rotino's held by TJ, and that's two on Hawes. TJ called for the reach with 8.42 to go until halftime, and he's going to sit. Oh, no. TJ with his second. Of the Cougars, three fouls, two go to Haas. So Worthington and Haas both have a seat. Harding and Cannon in. BYU in front, 22-21, but they lose their best player, TJ Haas. That's too bad. Rotino sends into Ferrari. Frankie far sideline. The handoff. And he gets it back to Ferrari on the wing left. Gives there to Rotino. Straight away, Reitman. They cycle it right side, Minlin, with a five-second shot clock. Minlin drives, cuffs, blocked out of bounds by Yoli Childs. Foul on the way up. Two free throws for USF to retake the lead. They'll get Connor Harding up, up top. Beautiful block, but they said Connor uh, bodied him. So Minlin can... Give the Dons back the lead here at the free throw line. Only a 69% free throw shooter, Minland. And besides Frankie Ferrari, they don't shoot it well at all as a team. Minland free throw, good. Rattles around, drops. 22-22. USF shooting 35% to BYU's 64%. And we're tied up. 
That shouldn't happen. <laughs> That's a weird number. A tie game when there's a 30% disparity in field goals. And now, now 12 more field goal attempts. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy number. 23 attempts to 11. As Midland misses the second free throw, and Nick Emery grabs the rebound. So one for two for Midland. It's turnovers and offensive rebounds. BYU's turned it over three times. USF without a giveaway, and 7-0 on the offensive boards right now. Yoli outside the right elbow. Goes right corner to McKay Cannon. BYU playing without T.J. Haas, maybe for the end of the half. Nick for three, big one left corner, in and out. Rebound, Connor Harding on a reset. BYU's first offensive rebound, jump hook back up and go! Nice. There it is! BYU's first second chance points of the night. Connor Harding on the stick back, and BYU goes up 24-22. Good, strong post move, jump hook from Connor Harding. Frankie, handoff, Rotino for the lead. Missed the three, back iron, rebound, BYU. Celius grabs it, takes it down the floor himself, down the right wing. Zach all the way to the rim, blocked out of bounds by Matt McCarthy. 7.35 to go, timeout on the floor. 7.35 in the first half. It is 24-22, BYU by two on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. For more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Hey, BYU fans at StubHub. Every Cougar ticket is 100% guaranteed, and you'll find the best selection of Cougar tickets anywhere. StubHub, be there. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. One of the all-time great BYU Cougars from the gridiron, Kyle Van Noy, sitting directly across from us courtside here at the Marriott Center tonight. That dude can play. Super Bowl champ, multiple Super Bowl champ, leader of the defense, Amazing. Should have been the MVP. <laughs> Could very well have been. As he plays in three straight Super Bowls, wins two of them with the New England Patriots since leaving the Detroit Lions. Bill Belichick does it again, spotting and grabbing top-level talent. Kyle Van Noy in the house. 7.35 to go until halftime. BYU leading San Francisco 24-22. Back and forth we go 9 Lead changes, three ties in this game. Yo off the inbounds, goes up and down with it, and they call travel or foul? Foul. It was late, but it clearly a foul. Wait. So are they going to say shots or now? One saying travel, one saying foul. They're going to call foul here. So Just it's whether, on. Whether or not it was a shot. That's two yeah. shots. So yeah, they're going to call Renfro. Renfro's got his second. So there are three dons with two fouls. That's team foul number eight, and Yoli shoots two with his team up two. Yoli on the year shooting 72 percent from the free throw line. This would get him to double figures if he makes both free throws. Miss. Be nice to get a little separation on San Francisco, especially if TJ's on the bench. You can do that with him on the bench. That would be huge. Second. Make. 25-22, BYU by three. Dons have taken ten more field goals. And BYU, Raymond Wrighton and fakes from the top of the key, drives on Celius, pulls it out, hands to Midland between the circles. 7.20 on the game clock, 15 second shot clock. Midland cycles Wrighton to Rotino, back to Wrighton and now Frankie on the arc left side, will drive it, float it, bank it, in and out, rebound Yoli. Good board by Childs. Spun out from Ferrari. BYU down floor the other way. Emery hands off to Celius on the wing left. Zach to the bump, right wing to McKay Cannon. WCC's leading percentage three-point shooter, McKay Cannon. Into Yo, back out to McKay. McKay hands off Harding. Harding will drive it, kick it left corner. A head fake from Celius and no, to, no look to Harding, who then gave it up. Turned it over on his drive, threw it right to Adon as the ball slipped out of his hands. BYU's not had a lead larger than four, and that would have been a chance to get one there. Three-point lead for BYU. Turnover, number four. USF without a giveaway. Midland drives, block, but it goes out to Rotino for three in the tie. And there it is, another tie. And another three for Jordan Rotino. And USF just cannot miss from deep. And, Mark, we've seen the Dons make it rain from three before here. That's the yeah. one way they got a win six years ago. They got the shooters to do it, Rotino and Ferrari. 25-25. Driving kick by Yo to Connor. Connor drives hard to the hole. Banks and misses at the rim. USF already six threes in this game to BYU's two. We're tied up at 25. Post feed. McCarthy. Out to Midland. Midland fouled on his penetration. Not shooting. Team foul number five against BYU. 
Well, that was a big turnover by Connor Harding. Gave it right to the Dons, and then they come down and stick a three on you when you could have gone up five or six yourself. 25-25, USF tied with BYU despite shooting 20% worse from the field. Frankie Ferrari baseline sent into the right of the bucket. 6.01 to play till halftime. Reitman, Bouye, top of the key. Angle left now, Rotino. Rotino, straight away, Reitman to the right wing, Ferrari. Ferrari gets low on Childs, doubled on the block, hands it off to Yurkatom, put it on the floor, got it back, gives to Reitman. Five-second shot clock, takes tough three, not even close off the window, rebound Harding. Shot it kind of early. I think he thought the shot clock was going to go off. 5.40 to play. BYU, 25-25 with USF player late in the first half. McKay to the top of the key. BYU's turned it over four times. USF without a giveaway. Connor, base left, doubled on the block, pressured, skip pass to McKay, big three, and no. USF the rebound. Three-point shooting right now as Zirkatown drives low, blocked from behind by Gavin Baxter, who falls to the ground, gets back up as BYU comes the other way. Celius to Cannon. Cannon will drive it, take it across the free-throw lane, pull it out to the three-point line, terminate and hook it low to Yo. Yo on the post-up, short corner right. Faces on Reitman. Now posts him up, gets hard, hands off low to Baxter, and dunks it. Gavin Baxter throws it down, and BYU takes two-point lead, 27-25, the assist to Yoli Childs. A good patience, waited till the double came, then found Gavin underneath. Bouye, straight away. When's that first USF turnover going to come? Rotino, right wing, Reitman. Drive kick Ferrari for three in the lead again. 28-27, USF, seven threes here in the first half. Well, I guess the question is, uh, can they keep that up? But so far, it's keeping them in the game. USF still has just three two-point field goals. Seven threes and three twos. That's amazing. Baxter on the bump. Right wing to Cannon. Short corner right, Yoli. Baseline jumper, got it. BYU back in front, 29-28. BYU shooting 55%. And barely hanging on here up one. 29-28. USF shooting in the mid-30s, but everything they hit is a three. Frankie will drive it, skip it. Right corner, Bouye. Top of the key, right in it. Frankie for three in the lead again. Left side, got it. Oh, man, wave it off on the offensive foul. But every shot is dropping for USF from distance. That's waved off on an offensive foul with timeout on the floor. 3.50 to go until halftime. BYU a one-point lead, 29-28 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jerem Jordan with a scoreboard update. BYU's next opponent is number two Gonzaga, who leads Pepperdine 47-30. Two minutes to go in the first half in Spokane. Back to Greg Rubel in the Marriott Center. Jerem, thanks a lot. Uh, USF is second in the WCC in both three-pointers made per game and three-point percentage, and they're playing like it. But BYU is third in both categories, and the Cougars aren't right now. BYU just two threes, USF seven. So a 15-point differential from the arc alone right now as USF trails it by one. BYU leading at 29 to 28. And the BYU ovation there is for Kyle Van Noy. They introduce Kyle to the crowd here at courtside. Mentioned him a moment ago, and they show Kyle on the big screen. BYU basketball, 3.45 to play here in the first half. No T.J. Haas. He's sitting on the bench with two fouls. Yo, post up. Short corner right. Gets low on Yurkatown. Fades away from eight feet. Got it. Yoli Childs. Fade away jumper. 13 points for Yoli to lead all scores. They need him with TJ sitting. And BYU by three, 31-28. Get a stop here. Push the lead beyond three. It's never been more than four for BYU here in the first half. Midland on the arc right side. On the bump to Yurkatom. Yurkatom hands to Frankie in for three. And the tie in again. There it is. One more time. Man, he juked McKay. He went... Crossover, McKay went right flying by. That's eight threes, folks, for USF here in the first half. BYU two of them, and USF now eight. We're tied at 31. Ferrari's got 11. Yoli, hard spin on Yurkatom, right to the rim, fouled. He'll get two free throws out of it, put BYU back in front. Just before the timeout, there was the offensive foul on a made three by Frankie that was waved off, and that actually is USF's first turnover and only turnover of the half as Rotino was called for the moving screen and ended up being a turnover and the only one for USF as Yo goes to the line for two in a tie game, 31-31. BYU shooting 58%. 
and not leading until now as Yo makes the free throw to go up 32-31. But BYU just cannot push this beyond a single possession lead right now as every time they get a lead, it's a three-pointer just smack right back at you by USF. Two for two for Yo. So BYU's up 33-31, 2.51 to go till halftime. Can they just get a stop here? Frankie, right side, top side, right, and then hand off to Ferrari. Ferrari, 11 points and heating up. Three threes already for Frankie. Midland terminates at 18. Right and then goes to Frankie left side. They close out with Harding. The pass goes low to Yurkatom on the wing right. And now Midland for three. And that's a miss. The rebound. USF, another offensive board. Midland penetrates right to the rim. Off the window. No. Rebound that time cleared by Gavin Baxter. Good work there by Gav. Re offensive rebounds 8-2 to two in USF's favor right now. 33-31, BYU by two. The Cougars can equal their game high lead or surpass it with a two or a three on this possession. They've been up as many as four. The lead now is two. Selyus on the bump, right wing McKay. McKay looks to hook it, now lobs it instead to Yoli, short corner right. Reverse pivot to face on Yurkatum. Jumper missed. Rebound, Baxter slaps it around and brings it down. Good board by Gavin. Great board by Gavin. What a reset. Good effort by Baxter. Tremendous hustle to keep it alive. Can the Cougars now make use of the extended possession with points? Harding beneath the basket. Tough pass turnover. Ball on the floor. Bouye comes away, racing into front court right side. Ferrari won't take that three. Backs it up outside the arc left side. BYU by two, but another BYU turnover. Five to one now in turnovers here in the first half. And Harding's had two of them. Right and then top of the key for three in the lead. No, rebound Harding. Thank goodness, right? That didn't go. 120 to play till halftime. BYU by two. What a grinder this has turned out to be. No TJ Haas. They're surviving without him in foul trouble. McKay. Low to Gab. Gab bounces once, gets beneath the basket. Soft jump hook is short, rebounded by Ferrari. No good by Gavin. Took some contact, no whistle. Multiple chances, Mark, for BYU to extend the lead beyond two. Hasn't happened yet. Minland, wing left, across the free throw lane. Floats it from eight feet. It's an air ball teardrop and brought in on the baseline by Yoli. Once again, BYU by two, under a minute to go. They can play two for one, certainly here. 50 seconds to play and a timeout taken. Who called it? Who called this timeout? Had to be BYU. Uh, in possession, so that's two timeouts remaining for BYU. Kyle Smith's not called one here in the first half. We'll stay right here, 48.7 to go. BYU by two. They're going to bring Nick Emery in for the closing seconds of this half. So Dave Rose has called two first half timeouts. USF did not use a first half timeout as of yet. BYU basketball brought to you in part by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Drop a, <clears throat> drop a quick play here, try and get it off quick, then you get two for one like you said. That can make a big difference, extra possession. And then uh, you go into halftime and maybe trying to do a little di different uh, approach defensively. San Francisco's just getting too many looks, particularly uh, Ferrari's getting too many looks. He's the guy that's really killing it. Well, you know you're going to get T.J. Haas back for a full second half. That's good news for BYU. Ball's in, 45 seconds to go. 20-second shot clock. Harding, right wing, Selyus. Selyus top of the key to Nick Emery. Emery low to Yoli. Yoli left block. He's got Yurkatom single team to the middle. Fake, fake, up and good! A little bit of contact, no call, but BYU's got a four-point lead for the third time here in the first half. 35-31, 28 seconds to go, 25 seconds on the shot clock. So... A two-for-one, yes, but very close to a final shot situation now for USF. 17 for Yoli in the half. Frankie, slow bounce near the timeline. Now, the Dons are going to play for what amounts to a final shot. There wasn't enough time left when Yoli took that last attempt. But BYU should lead at halftime. Frankie has it knocked away, gets it back with a three-second shot clock. A three for Frankie is good oh, as the half expires. 1.3 left. Francisco ran out on the floor to call timeout once that was made. I'm not sure why you would do that. 1.3. BYU had a 35-31 lead. And Ferrari, with the shot clock about to expire, knocks down the three again. 14 points for Frankie. Four threes. And USF Mark with nine three-pointers in the first half. They have three two-pointers and nine three-pointers here in the first half. I've never seen that kind of imbalance. USF is shooting 34%. BYU is shooting 55%, and it's a one-point game. 1.3 to go till halftime. Yeah, just three for 15 inside the arc for San Francisco, and 
Unbelievable shooting. Unbelievable shooting. And, and we're talking, I mean, <laughs> Ferrari was guarded very well there. Hand in the face, kind of a fadeaway corner. Uh, Mark, we've seen nailed. this. We've seen this from USF. The one game they won here a few years ago, they made a crazy number of threes. And it was from everywhere all night long. And we're seeing it again. Thankfully, BYU's got a one-point lead. And thankfully, TJ Haas plays in the second half. But good gravy. Three two-point baskets in an entire half for San Francisco, and they are right there because they are scorching it from deep at 9 for 20, and BYU just 2 for 6. That is a 21-point differential at the three-point line. They're going to reset the clock, I think, a little bit. They will put TJ into the game here just to kind of give your best shooter, launch it up there, but uh, yeah, that's a pretty impressive shoot, but the good news is early in the season, Teams would get hot from three. BYU would be down 20 at this point. They're actually ahead in this game. And uh, so they're, they're doing other things well enough to keep them in the game. But, man, that three is killing them. USF will have led at halftime only once in the last six games. They will trail here at halftime. 3.3 back on the clock. Plenty of time. A couple dribbles. TJ from backcourt with two and with one. Deep three from the left side. He got yes! it! He got it! He got it! TJ Hawes! What an answer! What an answer to Frankie Ferrari! Wow! <laughs> Good decision to put TJ back in, I would say. Bad decision to call timeout. They added time on the clock. I don't know why they would call timeout. You have to take it in, then you, you're everything's frazzled. That, that was a weird decision. T.J. Haas was sitting in foul trouble. They brought him in for the final 3.3, and he makes a three to get BYU a four-point lead. 38-34. Just how big will that shot be about an hour from now? Halftime recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 20 minutes of Cougar basketball are in the books. Emery will penetrate. Defender falls to the floor, and Nick's open for three, takes and makes. Nick Emery for three, straight away. You're tuned to Cougar Halftime Live. To break down the first half, here's your host, Jerem Jordan. At the half, BYU 38, USF 34. It looked like BYU would lead by one. T.J. Haas checks in, courtesy of a USF timeout, and buries a three from deep, and the Cougars are up for what a first half it was. Coming up on Cougar Halftime Live, brought to you by Nissan, a BYU baseball update from Texas, scores from around the West Coast Conference, and Space Jam 2 is official. But first, let's send you back to the Bryant Heating and Cooling Comfort courtside seats in the Marriott Center with the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Jim, thank you. It was a Mountain America three-pointer right before the break that gives BYU the four-point lead, 38-34. T.J. Haas with a deep three with 3.3 seconds to go until halftime. They put T.J. back in the game, makes the three. That makes it a four-point game. So BYU on 57% shooting, 43% from three, 82% from the free-throw line. You'd hope to have a bigger lead than four, but USF, despite shooting 34% from the field, shoots 45% from three on nine for 20 and is hanging right there with the Cougars. BYU in half number one gets 17 from Yoli, 11 from TJ, six from Zach Selyus on a couple of threes, then two for Harding and two for Baxter. That is it. Playing and not scoring Cannon and Emery and Worthington. USF, 14 for Ferrari. He had four threes, four for four from three in the first half for Frankie. Six for Retino, five for Reitinen, and then three for Renfro and Bouye. Give two to McCarthy and one to Midland, getting you to 38-34 the score at the break. BYU in front by four. USF led for five minutes, 15 seconds. BYU led for 10-03. We had 11 lead changes and five ties in the first half. Points in the paint to BYU, plus 10. Points off of turnovers to USF, plus 1. Second chance to the Dons, plus 5. Fast break to BYU, 4 nothing, And bench points to USF, plus 2 at 10-8. to eight. Mark, first half thoughts. Yeah, kind of a weird uh, first half because of those w weird shooting numbers. They shoot t 12 more shots than BYU in this game. And uh, even though BYU's out rebounding uh, San Francisco, it's 8-3 to three on the offensive boards. It's uh, those offensive rebounds and that, at the three-point shooting. I mean, that, that that's what they've relied on, and they've done it really, really well and have kept them in this game. The question is, can they continue to do that? Because BYU's doing so well in so many different areas, but if they, they can defend that three a little bit better, they're gonna, I think you're going to have to modify what they're doing, their approach, because every time that ball goes off the dribble, they're, they're double-teaming or even triple-teaming with the big men, 
And then San Francisco gets it back out and is reversing it. BYU's trying to catch up, but they're not doing a good enough job and leaving shooters open. And now the problem is you got Frankie Ferrari that's hot. And, and even when you're guarding him, he's going to hit it. So they've dug themselves a little bit of a hole in that respect. All right, BYU has not lost a home game this season, leading at halftime, and BYU's leading at halftime here at home, 38-34. Now Jerem with Cougar Halftime Live. Jerem, back to you. 